X M I six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess there's an I six and there's other girls too, but whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they probably get more information than the guys do. Uh, I don't know. That'd be interesting. I just I, for just me, be, I feel like Alfred should be a male character, just because that's kind of like his father almost adopted yeah. father basically, and that's who he kind of. And I think a woman would be too motherly. Yeah. It's like no, Bruce, you're not going fucking out there. You're not. Stop looking like a bat. <laughs> then if you do cast a woman, like, oh, why does a woman have to wait on a man and feed? Is it? Is anybody gonna ever be better than Michael Caine? I don't know. Mm, I don't think I have so. hopes for what's his name, uh, Scar. Uh, but we didn't really get to see him too much. Oh, what's his name? Yeah. 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 Uh, Jeffrey. No. 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 Um, Jeremy Irons. Yeah, Jeremy Irons. I had yeah. big hopes for Jeremy Irons, but I didn't get to see it. Back to Shadow Island. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> I Ben Kingsley. Yeah, Ben Kingsley. I saw the twist coming, but I like the tag on the end, the best. Yeah. Right. No, he's he's well aware of what he's doing. Yeah, he knows what he's doing, and I love that. I'm like it was like a like it, I thought it was a perfect ending. It was a hero's way out, yeah. and I was like, that. You know what? I I really like that. Yeah. For me, not what it came for the movie. I'm like, that was kind of worth it. Yeah. Performances are great all around. DiCaprio like, kills it on this yeah. one. And when you're thinking about it again, subtleties that the actress had when Mark Ruffalo was trying to take the gun out and couldn't do it. Yeah. Makes sense later on, especially where I'd lean out and listen, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I can't get the thing out. So, because he's an actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Essentially, right? Exactly. So I was like, Brown oh, Marshall. It, it, it works. But I think this is a movie that is definitely layered. It's meant to be watched more than once. But with that said, that's four hours and 40 minutes that you have to do sit through just catch these little things <laughs> which is cool see the movies then you watch it again then you'll yeah. catch it it's it's great if you're a cinephile yes but um I'm not too sure how I would rate it I, like I said my way of rating it like it's not my favorite Scorsese's but uh for the trilogy of Leonardo and Scorsese did together the Aviator uh, oh. Departed and the Kings of New York oh Kings of New York yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Wall Street. Oh my god, he's in way more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to not get invited back now. <laughs> Didn't know that one. But yeah. Well, I definitely, I think... Uh, I found his muse. I love, um, I love Shutter Island. I think Shutter Island's better than Wolf of Wall Street. And I sure. think it's... I think it's weird that Wolf uh, was nominated and Shutter Island wasn't. Because essentially, Wolf of Wall Street is a biography on an asshole. Yeah. You know, yeah. Is the movie interesting and funny and charismatic? Yes. But that guy is trash in real life. You know what I mean? No. I mean, this guy is too. It's kind of glorifying. <laughs> glorifying somebody in real life. I don't know. I don't know. I like the movie. I like the movie. Have you guys seen Manchester by the Sea? Yes, I love the movie. So yeah. if I was Michelle Williams' daughter, I'd be really scared. Oh, come on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm just saying. I actually got to... Because I went parents to take her work, their work home. I saw that movie before it came out. You got that one. <laughs> Rest in peace, <pieces>, Fletcher. <laughs> You're killing me over here, man. You're gonna <laughs> make a lot of people. You're gonna make a lot of people mad. That's what gets comments going. Well, he yeah. is the heel of the. He is the heel. <laughs> just like the whole Ram- shooting my Rambo <laughs> escapade down. Oh, you're just too sensitive. I never said that, but I'm glad you got the message. <laughs> <laughs> just like he he made a mockery of my whole Mac Miller bit a couple episodes ago. He was like, "Oh yeah, we shouldn't." Uh, Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't touch. Yeah, should, <laughs> I felt like um, shouldn't trust. Uh, you shouldn't trust uh, drug dealers. But I love how you're like, yeah, yeah. Like, right? <laughs> like you're disagreeing with people. <laughs> you guys just dismissed my whole bit there, man. When I, that's what happens when the swan tries to be serious. You're like, what are you doing, man? Go back to what you're good at. <laughs> 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 that's what it felt like. Uh, but thank you, guys. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, Shutter Island is a good pick. Not as, um, uh, it didn't make me, like, as psychologically messed up watching it, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. I wasn't, do you guys ever seen Legion? 
Yeah. On it. Yeah. Like that one makes you feel like you're going crazy too. Yep. Like that's Dan, perfect. Dan Stevens is a revelation. And yeah. Boom. So <laughs> that's a whole nother level that I judge these movies on now. Mm -hmm. Off of that show, I like, what is going on? Am I losing my head now? Um, I had to. I had to shelve that show for a while because I was like. Heavy. Uh, yeah, strange. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a good movie. It's hard to say anything bad about Scorsese, but it's a good movie. Next. Uh, <laughs> Next. <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely love this movie. Um, in terms of Scorsese's films, I'm not going to rate any of them or put them in categories of greatest to least. <laughs> but... Um, this is definitely a good movie. I like the. It's for me. It's kind of a slow burn, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people wouldn't sit through this movie and wait for the ending, but I think the ending is definitely worth the wait. And like both of you guys both said, um, the little subtle things that you don't really catch on until the end of the movie that makes sense, uh -huh. or you're getting these little pieces of a puzzle, like his hallucinations and everything. And then it all makes sense when you get his, uh, what is it? He has like a flashback to when he comes home from that long hunt or whatever he was doing yeah. and finds his wife murdered his kids. So, definitely a fun movie. I think the ending was cool. Um, I really enjoyed the ending when he, how you kind of brought it up, he basically just, he, he's, he understands what's going on, but he's, he'd rather be lobotomized. He'd rather be lobotomized than uh, remember that he killed his wife and she murdered their kids, which is... It's really dramatizing, especially seeing it in the... It's, that's crazy. I mean, yeah. the scene, I mean, what he says to, um, who was it, a Chuck mm -hmm. at the end when he says, you know, is it, is it better to live as a monster or, or... Die as a good man. Or die as a good man. And at that point... The you whole movie... See is on like that that's line. Yeah. yeah that line yeah. you you see um chuck basically chuck realizes that he knows what like he's doing the doctor did it he yeah. did he did yeah. stop he that he re yeah. rehabilitated him basically and he gets up and starts walking to the orderlies knowing that he's going to get lobotomized and he did it on purpose he's kind of like teddy you know he's, he's calling him but he doesn't respond to he doesn't he's just he's fine with he's okay with you know Losing his memory and and basically just becoming a vegetable. And that's what I meant when Mark Ruffalo like really cleans it up at the end. At the end, yeah, just he a subtle in, face he makes yeah. when he when turns like, back at Ben Kingsley and goes, "No, nah, it don't work." Yeah, type of deal. Just like he was disappointed. And great. and Kingsley uh, like that look of disappointment. Yeah. yeah, they really pull it together. Like that. You see when he looks, scene. he looks back at the guards and he's like, he whatever he says, like you know, do it or whatever. But it's just. Basically, like, yeah, we failed. Yeah. But in actuality, they didn't. So, pretty weird, right? Michelle Williams, uh, definitely a haunting performance. I feel oh, like yeah. she's very underrated, too. That last, um, the flashback scene. Yeah. She just won an Emmy, by the way. For? Uh, Falsy Eden, the dancing one about the, on FX. With uh, Sam Rockwell. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Have you seen it? Of course, I have it. Of course, it's going to be watched though. I've seen one, one or two episodes. I like it. I think Fossey it's... something. Yes. Yeah, uh, Everywhere I turn, turn I see Sam Rockwell. No. I know. I feel. Fossey Verdon or something. Yeah, like Fossey that. Verdon. Sam Rockwell, is that you? So Oscar and Emmy winner. I think she has a Golden Globe. She just needs to sing now. Get that E got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the the middle? She kills it, yeah. The the be, what is it? The middle of the film, mm -hmm. where he has that hallucination of her and the the ashes are falling yeah, around them. I think them. it was like in the middle, and uh, yeah. not in the beginning, right? Like almost towards the like first. Yeah. Yeah. He walks into his apartment. Yeah, that's a pretty stylistically. Mm -hmm. It's be a beautifully shot mm -hmm. and beautifully acted. Uh, I remember being pretty shocked that they chose her for. His, that was such an odd pairing, but it really works on screen for me. Um, this movie's based off of a book, right? Yeah. Yes. Did you ever read the book? No. Okay. It's from uh, 2003, so it's not that old. Okay. Uh, pretty interesting, right? I bet you that anagram scene 
with all like these names plays way better in the book than it did on the, <laughs> the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it makes more. Is there like, like oh no way? Like yeah. it was right there the whole time, and Ben Kingsley just takes a little tarp off the, the little stand that shows it. Like look, the law it's form. right here. <laughs> Pay attention. Yes. Pay attention, Andrew. <laughs> Bet you that plays better in the book. Yeah. What are your thoughts? What are your Flashbacks. thoughts on this? Um, love the ending. Diego, Diego, we Diego. gotta, we gotta. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People who aren't here. <laughs> There's a lot of them. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dick. <laughs> uh, you guys kind of touched on most of the stuff that I wanted to talk about. Uh, definitely, I thought the most interesting scene for me. I thought it was uh, was uh, him coming home and seeing his children drown. I think that was like damn. It's a horrible scene. I was like, hey, it worked for the movie perfectly though. But it was like, I was like, ooh, <clears throat> so much emotion in one scene alone just made me be like, fuck. Like, Besides the ending, yeah. I feel like that scene is the payoff yeah. for the watch. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. it's like masterful. You know what I mean? The direction and the and the performances throughout is. It's just crafted so well. And then he pulls out your emotions in that scene. He's really good at that. You're just uh, like, oh, I could have gone out with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just Inception. Such a it's like Inception. Yeah. Like, like, oh. Just when they, they did the crane shot all around, the aerial shot, whatever. I'm like, really? And the weird cut. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then, <laughs> like... Oh, thank God his boys are dead because like he did not care about them right away. <laughs> he went straight to the daughter. Mm -hmm. She was in front, and, and, and he, tried he, to save her. he dwindles like yeah For with the CPR, uh, and then the boys. He's, he's just like, oh, I'll carry them. Like, You're probably dead too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a tough. Like, it's I I was a little nervous. Like, how is he going to carry the, all these? That's a lot of weight, yeah. especially when you get out of the water. In the water. But it looks like he wasn't even swimming though, so it was like a small pond. Yeah. But I'm more interested in the wife's backstory. The yeah. Get her brain and everything. Yeah. Another. She definitely. She. Another mishap that didn't happen in the movie. I think we, I would have loved to hear more about her psych, high yeah. psychiatric treatments that she was taking. Because definitely. Well, she got none. Well, none That's because he he's himself. like, it, it was my fault because she told me she had a bug in her head. Yeah. He basically knew that she was crazy and he was covering it up because it was his wife and he was like, oh, you know, it'll be fine. We'll just keep drinking. We'll work through it. And and it's very much of the time. You yeah. Hide right. your problems. Yeah. Not post them on Instagram like today. <laughs> right? I thought I thought Michelle, <laughs> she stole the scene. She stole that scene, yeah. right? She's just the instiller. For she's sure. Thief, because she stole Manchester by the Sea in that one, like, maybe... The end of the, fi the, end yeah. of the film? I'm like, oh, my God. But she's like, I just want to, I just want you to know it's not your fault. And the water rush just come down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to wait for my life to be done. <laughs> yeah. Dawson's Creek. Oh, you got that reference. No, I quit talking. <laughs> have this, have this motherfucker on here. I'm out. You couldn't hear it, but <laughs> audience everywhere just applauded. <laughs> Michelle Williams, Steen, Steen Steeler. Yeah, um, just what she was saying to him when he, he, he she says. Uh, he says, honey, where's... It's super quiet, right? They go to the back, their backyard, and, and he's like, where, where are the kids, honey? And when, he, like, when he realizes it, yeah. it's super quiet. Something's wrong. And he goes, uh, where are the kids? And, and she responds, oh, they're in school right now. And he's like... Son, Saturday's uh, not in at schools. Yeah. <laughs> honey... Or school's not in on Saturdays. Honey, it's it's Saturday. Yeah. And, uh, and she's like, well, my school's in. Yeah, and the, creepy and the, ass and, smirk yeah, that she had in the, and the look in her, yeah, the look oh, in her eyes. If they ever did Flashpoint, she'd be the perfect female Joker. <laughs> yeah, especially with that smile that she had. God, she was creepy. But yeah, she's a uh, she venom, technically. Oh, yeah, yeah, she venom. She's uh, just got. She's officially back for part two of nice. Venom. So bonus side news. Side note. Bonus news. <laughs> yeah. There will be carnage. Hmm. You quoted the movie. Good job. <laughs> She's playing in my part. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> oh, 
I'm telling you, you're the heel of this crew. Some people call it the hero.